In this video, we'll write the balanced net ion equation for CaCO3 plus HBr, calcium carbonate plus hydrobromic acid. We first have to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it looks like we have two bromines here and just one here. Let's put a two here. That'll give us two hydrogens. Balance the hydrogens. Looks like everything else is balanced. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. Carbonates in general are insoluble, except when they're with group one elements like sodium or potassium. So this is going to be insoluble. Because of that, it won't dissolve. It'll be a solid. We're going to assume that our HBr is aqueous. It's in water. And that because it's hydrobromic acid, we can see here we have a list of strong acids and strong bases. And hydrobromic acid is considered a strong acid. Because of that, it's going to dissociate into its ions. It's going to be aqueous. So we'll write AQ after that. Calcium bromide. Bromides, in general, they are soluble. So we're going to write AQ. That's going to be aqueous. It'll dissolve in water. Carbon dioxide's a gas. And then water, that'll be a liquid. So we have the states for each of the substances. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So we can't split calcium carbonate apart. It's a solid. So we just write CaCO3. And we'll write the states later. Let's not write that now. Plus, hydrogens in group 1. It's going to be a 1 plus the bromide ion, 1 minus. Because this is aqueous, this is a strong acid, it will dissociate into its ions. We'll have two hydrogen ions. Plus, we'll have two bromide ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, calcium's in group 2, that's 2 plus. And then that bromine, that'll be 1 minus for the bromide ion. We'll have Ca2 plus, plus 2 of these bromide ions. And then in net ionic equations, we don't split apart gases, so we'll have CO2. And we don't split apart liquids, so we'll have H2O. This is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out those spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. When I look, I see the only thing that's the same in the reactants and in the products, that's going to be that bromide ion, those two bromide ions right here and in the products. Let's cross those out. Everything else, though, that makes up our net ionic equation for calcium carbonate plus hydrobromic acid. Let me clean this up and add the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for CaCO3 plus HBr. You notice that charge is conserved. We have two positive charges on the reactants and two positive charges in the products. And if you count all the atoms up, they'll be the same on each side. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.